For this lesson, we're going to look at trace tables for while loops. So firstly, here we have a trace table of a while loop question. So we've got x is equal to 1. So we put 1 in x. Then it says while x is less than 5. Now 1 is less than 5, that's true. Now whenever while loop condition is true, that's when you enter the loop. If it's false, you do not enter the loop at all. So it says print x times 2. So x times 2, the output will be 2 because 1 times 2 is 2. Then x is equal to x plus 1. x will increase by 1. Then we go back to the start of the loop. So while x is less than 5. Now 2 is less than 5, so that's true again. 2 times 2 is 4. x plus 1, that's 3 now. 3 is less than 5, true. 3 times 2 is 6. And then we go back to x, increase it by 1. 4 is less than 5, that's true. 4 times 2 is 8. Then we increase it to 5. Then 5 is not less than 5. That's false. So that because the condition is false, that's when we break the loop. And then we display the end. Here we have another example, this time with an input. So whenever we have an input in a trace table, we go back to the start of the question and we read it. Normally they will tell you what the inputs are. So the first input is 12. So inside num, we're going to put 12. This is while num, while 12 is greater than or equal to 10. Yes, that's true. Output print incorrect. So we output incorrect. Then it says num equals int. So it's asking for a number again. Another input, we go to the top of the question. The next input is 10. Then we go back to the start of the while loop. While 10 is greater than or equal to 10. Yes, that's true because 10 is equal to 10. And then it will display incorrect again. Next number, 20. Then 20 is greater than uh, 10. That's true. Display incorrect again. Next number inputted is 9. 9 is not greater than or equal to 10. So that's false. Then it will display correct because we go to the end of the program. Because it's not indented, it will only be displayed once the loop breaks. Final example. We've got x equals 0, so we put 0 in x, dancer equals 0, 0 in dancer, x is less than 3, is that true or false? 0 is less than 3, so yes, that's true. Then we're doing next choice. Choice, the input is yes, we can see right at the top in the question. And then we go to the if statement. If choice is equal to yes, yes, that's true. Then we go inside the if statement, it says print great. So we're going to display great. Then it says dancer is equal to dancer plus one. So we're going to increase dancer by one. Then it says we don't do the else. We skip the else because we've already done the if statement. We go to x equals x plus one. So that's not indented. So it's not inside the if statement. So we have to add one to x. Now one is less than three. Yes, that's true. Next choice so next input is no right at the top you can see it says no then if choice is equal to yes that's incorrect so that's false so we go to the else the else says why not so we display why not we output why not then we go to x we increase it by one now two is less than three yes that's true you can see that dancer did not change because we didn't go inside the if choice equals yes we didn't go into we didn't go inside this if statement we went to the else so because of that dancer will stays the same stays the same so now that's true because two is less than three now the next input is chicken then if choice is equal to yes so chicken is not equal to yes so we have to go to the else again then we increase x by one now x is three while three is less than three no, that's false. So because this is false, we break out of the loop and we finish the trace table. So we do not need to do anything after that.